Thank you to Gareth Hood over there and Kat for the insight on brand new games. But right now we're back into the kitchen. Listen to this, eat breakfast like a king, the old saying goes, right? Well, add an avo to your breakfast table and you certainly can. Well, we already know about everyone's all-time favorite breakfast, ever on, ever on toast. But have you ever considered adding avo to your breakfast smoothies? Well, I kid you not, it gives your smoothie the most luxurious, creamy taste, not to mention all the nutritional benefits that comes with it. Now, today we are showing you how to make two different avo smoothies. And I promise that once you've added avo to your smoothie, there will be no going back. And of course, our favorite Avo Queen Chef Hello. Anal is back. Hello. Hello. It's good to see you. Thank you. You know, when the two of uh, like us are together. We like the Avo Queens. We're the Avo Queens. We yeah. have to educate everyone <laughs> on the Avos. How are you, by the way? I'm very well, thank you. And I just want to say that blue looks so beautiful on you. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> I didn't pay you guys. I really didn't pay to say that. Okay, what are we making today? So we're making Avo smoothies. And I, you said to me, that you're a big smoothie drinker. I have smoothies absolutely every single day and I also always add an avo to it because of the thick yeah. texture. It would not be, I make it more as a smoothie bowl. So whatever I have, uh, whatever ingredients, I used spinach, kale, avo for green to flush out all those toxins. So yeah. Yeah, it in, ming it some and then boom, you have like this, the best drink ever. Well, I can see it on you, you're looking fabulous. <laughs> 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 so firstly, we're going to make a berry smoothie okay. and adding an avo because an avo gives that real luxurious feeling, that smooth feeling that yes, you, is absolutely. on your mouth. And it's also good to use avos in season. And you know that they are in season now um, at the moment. And they're nearly in season the whole year round. So there's no reason to add an avo. So how you take the avo is just cut it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the pit out and I want to show you how it is, is to scoop it out of this. Scoop, there it is. Scoop. You just take one scoop and it's out. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful. I'm going to learn about that because <laughs> mine is always like... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and then it just looks like a hot mess. And that's why I put it in the smoothies, because I just, I mess up the, the avo so much. And I'm like, I have to use it in an avo, like in a smoothie. smoothie. And it's so easy to do it. And you can now fill that up. If you take it out so beautifully like that, can you imagine what you can fill it up with prawns? You know, the old retro prawn cocktail, some bit of mayo. Some in there yeah. as well, some cheese. Over. What milk are you using for I'm your using normal milk. You, but you can use almond milk. You like almond milk, don't you? So here's the thing with using your milk I, th I know that guys that bulk up or wants to add extra calories to the day would use full cream milk because yes. they have calories to spare for myself that's trying to cut down a slim down for summer I would then use like uh, an almond milk because it has less cal calories. calories but of course what, whatever milk wo yeah, works what, for you every milk you want so I'm gonna add some banana in here and I've also added frozen berries because it's gonna give that beautiful frozen texture to the smoothie and a bit of honey and that's it you that can also uh, freeze your banana as yes. well but here's the thing that I want a tip for everyone do not freeze your banana with the skin on because what happens is when you have to take it out you like struggling to take the the skin off which I've learned now have so now you done that? I've, I've, I've done it I have to be honest and confess so take off the skin, skin. and then freeze it and then put it in your blender. Yes. Okay. are you ready to blend it okay Just I'm gonna do it. this yeah. oh. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow, that is gorgeous. And you know what? I think we're also lucky to have avocados available in South Africa almost all year round, uh, thanks to our farmers, of course, growing both green-skinned and dark-skinned yeah. avos. That means a nearly year-long supply of these two equally delectable, I mean, slightly addictive, uh, fruits. So, yeah, we are so lucky in South Africa. Look at that. Do that you want to taste that? that? Look at that. I How beautiful I is that? absolutely it's do. It's thick and it's ice cold because of the berries. It's absolutely delicious. The next one I'm going to make is a lassi. Mm. Look at that. Mm. I love it. This is gorgeous. I would pop my collagen in here. I'd pop my protein in here for my post, uh, post breakfast smoothie. So now we're going to do our second one. Yeah, and this is a lassi. It's like an Indian yogurt based drink. I love the little bit of acidity of it. And what I like about it, they spice it up mm. with a bit of turmeric. It's going to give that beautiful yellow color. Yeah. It's also good for us. A bit of salt, a dash of pepper in here. 
a bit of honey or any sweetener that you want to put in here. I've got a bit of honey in here. It just looks divine. That's gorgeous. And, and I'm, I'm sure going to add a bit of milk. All our viewers want to know how they can get their hands on either the ingredients or the recipe. You can go to expressionshow.com to get your hands on this. And I'm excited to see the color. I've never had turmeric and avon all in a smoothie. So let's show you. Let's show you. It's gorgeous. No, it's going to be like a light green. Because of the avo. Because of the avo. Yes. And I'm just going to add this into a glass and it's going to be all delicious and spicy. Mm. Look at like this. Like me some spicy, mama. Oh, look at that. that Creamy, is. spicy, and so healthy. A perfect breakfast smoothie. Look at that. Can I say that one as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. There we go. Yes. So these two, and then what is this one? You... That's a peanut butter smoothie that we made earlier on. It's also a brilliant one. It's got avo, banana, peanut butter, a bit of cocoa and vanilla. It is divine. Look at those colors. Look at those beautiful colors. I have to be honest, I was a bit skeptical about yeah. this because of the turmeric, but it is actually so gorgeous. You can taste the avo texture of it yes. as well. The color as well is so gorgeous. So yeah, this is so good. I'm so glad Raul's not in today because now <laughs> I get to take these home with me. I know, you're going to take all of them home. Okay, Chef Anel, thank you so much. Guys, this is the way you take your smoothies from bland to grand at an Avo. That's all you need to do. Now, for more Avolicious recipes, visit avocado.co.za and also like at I Love Avocado Essay on Facebook and follow at I Love Avo Essay on Instagram. But whatever you do, make sure to add an Avo. Add an avo nurtured in South Africa.